Alrighty, today I have another The Pharmacist's Daughter haul. So, let's get started. So I have Pumpkin Spice is my freebie. Oh, my dog's gonna come over and take a look. Okay, boys, go sit down. Come on, go sit. Yep, I know, it smells good. All right, so, Pumpkin Spice, I mean, just like the name smells like pumpkin spice so that's good I do like that this is a sample I mean it's in a two ounce shot cup and I can probably cut it up into fours one of my dogs is about to bark and I keep staring at him like don't do it <laughs> all right next one is hot cocoa camping which is crushed peppermint marshmallow fireside wood sage and sea salt so I got quite a few peppermint blends, and that wasn't even on purpose. I just wanted to try some stuff that I've never tried before. So this is uh, pretty strong on the peppermint. Um, I smell a little bit of the sea salt, but I don't smell the marshmallow fireside or the wood sage yet. So I'm never really too worried. Um, the Pharmacist Daughter is probably my favorite vendor so far. I've ordered from them, I think, three times, three or four, and I have never had bad luck with anything. But, um, I mean, I haven't melted too much. I've melted, uh, actually my next video will be an empty, so you'll find out how much I've melted of their stuff. But so far I've never had anything bad. Um, next one is peppermint cream, creme, is it supposed to be creme? That's not how you spell cream, so I feel like it's creme. <laughs> okay, so peppermint candies and vanilla creme, I guess. Mm, all I get is the peppermint, and peppermint is such a strong scent, so, um, it's kind of nose clearing peppermint. Um, I'm gonna wait till Christmas time for these peppermint ones, I think, are around, like, maybe November, going into December. And next one is lavender cookies, and then that is lavender, cotton candy, sugar cookie royale, vanilla cupcake, and buttermints. So I smell the lavender and the sugar cookie royale, a little bit of the buttermints, the cotton candy, not too much, and the vanilla cupcake, not too much. So, other than that, um, everything else is not good. A good amount of, sorry, my dog, one of them is like really possessive over bones, so I'm moving some of these bones, because they were lying down, and then I started filming, and then they had to come over and see. Okay, so the next one is Coke Cake, which is cola, white cake, brown sugar, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla. Oh, now you can see my cat over there. I guess just all the animals want to be on YouTube. Um, with this, I smell... I smell the cola. Um and a little bit of the white cake. I think kind of subtly the brown sugar, but I, don't know. I was hoping for a little bit more marshmallow. Oh, oh. Ignore my cat over there. She doesn't want to move and I'm not going to make her because then she'll meow and hiss. She's not a nice cat. <laughs> um, gingerbread rock. So peppermint patty, Palo Santo and s'mores. So once again, another pepper, peppermint one. Um, I smell the s'mores and I smell the peppermint. Those two are actually super strong. I don't know. Um, obviously, I'm not going to judge it until I warm it. I don't know if I'm going to like this one because s'mores, the s'mores is really strong. Um, like I'm fine having like a subtle s'mores. But um, it's pretty strong. But you know what? Maybe it's going to calm down a little bit in the uh, warming process. And then here, we'll do this blue one. Autumn waffles. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Blueberry pecan waffles. Iced almond cookies. 
I really, oh, you get the blueberry. Uh, I want to say I literally smelled everything. I'm not the biggest fan of blueberry. Um, I obviously knew this was one of the notes in there, but I was hoping it would be a little bit more subtle. I want to say I smell everything pretty evenly. Like maybe pumpkin pecan waffles, like a couple percentage more than the other two, but it, I mean, it's pretty fair. Um, I don't know. Uh, my dad likes blueberries, so maybe I'll, like, you know, give him some chunks of this. And then on holiday, which is sea salt, ocean mist, sea moss. Um, I don't know what this is. Zezzy soap type? Oh, zest. <laughs> I was like, what? What's zezzy? Um, yeah, the font. Okay, the S and the T kind of looked like an I. So, like, I don't know. Um, zest soap type. So, I don't know what that is. Oh, no. It's not focused on anything. Sorry about that. So, I smell, I'm assuming the soap type because I smell something that smells like soap. And then I smell the ocean mist and sea salt. I don't really smell too much of the sea moss yet. But this would be like a really good bathroom smell. It's pretty strong. Um, I like it. And then maybe we'll do this green one. Beach mint, spearmint, peppermint, beech wood. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Vetiver. I don't know what that is. Swedish dream salt. So another peppermint one. And you know what? You actually don't get, the peppermint isn't as strong. I do smell spearmint more. And then I'm assuming the beech wood vetiver, because I smell something beachy. But then I smell something salty, which would be the Swedish dream salt. So I don't know. It smells good. Um, I don't know. I always think of spearmint and peppermint as, uh, I was going to say holiday scents, as Christmas smells, so I'll probably do that around Christmas time, even though it has beachy smells to it too. Okay, then this purple one. Oh, sticker got confused. Lavender, lavender, <laughs> lavender lemonade. Um, pink lemonade and lavender. I love this one. It literally is just those two smells. Um, the only thing I drink besides water and coffee is pink lemonade. So I love any sort of pink lemonade smells. It has to be pink or like raspberry lemonade. I don't like regular lemonade. I don't know why, but yeah, I really like that one. And then Sugar Bake Shop is zucchini bread cupcake at Tiffany's vanilla butter fudge. Okay, so I smell the zucchini bread and the vanilla butter fudge. I have never had a cupcake at Tiffany's blend yet so I don't know what that smells like but I don't smell anything else besides the zucchini bread and the vanilla butter fudge but I, uh, I like it I like it I'm not the biggest bakery person but I want to try some of them and then maple cinnamon latte sorry my dog keeps like staring at me and I'm like pushing him away like don't come near the camera for like 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, so apples, maple, bourbon, espresso, sugar and spice, whipped cream. So the camera keeps like unfocusing, so we'll give it something else to focus at. I think, yeah, this one, I wish the bourbon wasn't in it or the sugar and spice, but the apples, maple, espresso, and whipped cream I could totally deal with. Um, I think that'll be good on warm. I think so. The bourbon's kind of strong, and so is the sugar and spice. I don't really smell much of the espresso. A little bit of the apple, like very minimal. A little bit of the maple, whipped cream. I don't smell any whipped cream, but I'm sure I will on warm. So that's my haul and everything. Um, Probably so far my favorite vendor that I've melted. I have a bunch that you guys saw that I got from Teddy Bees. I haven't melted that 
bleh, I haven't melted that yet. I'm recovering from a cold, so like some of this, obviously, I am like not smelling 100%. I'm probably only smelling like 95, 96%. Um, but I wanted to get this video at least filmed and then it'll go up in a couple days. But like I said, I've never really had a dud from the pharmacist daughter and obviously I know the scent notes are on there. So if I don't like something and I order it, I mean, if I'm getting like the blueberry pecan or yeah, the blueberry pecan waffles, like I know I don't like blueberry, but I knew that was a scent note. So, you know, that's my own fault if I don't like it, but I'm sure it'll be fine and everything. Well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for eventually uh, my empties video. Thanks, bye.